Hi guys, Coach Kara here. So I wanted to come to you with a really quick video about comparing your current partner to an ex, okay? All right, let's get started. So many people who began dating, coming out of a relationship, either it's quite recent or it's been some time, we kind of get used to certain behaviors and actions that our past partner may have done and it kind of sticks with us. You know, that's quite normal. It's it's inevitable, it, it happens. But here is where it becomes problematic. Okay, so there is a healthy or positive and negative way of behaving that way or expressing what it is um, according, you know, according to what it is, there's a way that you do that. So if you have been or your person has at times compared you to an ex, okay? Um, the, but the worst thing about that though is, is when they actually express it. See, it's one thing for someone to just have something in their mind and think like in a more realistic and positive way or healthy way, I would say, is that, okay, Katie, she never left toothpaste in the sink. Or Katie would always take her shoes off when she entered my house. You know, that's one way of being compared to an ex. And they may say something about it, but not necessarily about the ex. They might just keep that thought to themselves. Hey, can you please remove your shoes when you come in? Or can you just, it's like a pet peeve, can you just make sure you clean the toothpaste from the sink, whatever they say over or whatever, just things like that. That's different, that's quite normal because it's not anything that is actually connected to the person, their past person, like romantically or in a more memorable manner. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a little different in that aspect when it comes to comparison. The concern that I speak of is when we talk about the ex in a manner as of which they are still in the corners and crevices of one's heart and possibly at the forefront of their mind most days. That's a concern because now you're trying to, or may not try, but unaware, or unawarely make this person much like your past person because you're no longer able to be with them for whatever reason. So for example, what I mean when I say a negative comparison would be, um, can you come and wash my hair? You know, in their mind, they're thinking my ex would always, you know, John would always help me wash my hair. So would you like to wash my hair? Especially if they don't announce, hey, would you like for me to come in and help you out with your hair washing? So you ask that because that's what you were used to and you enjoyed with your past person. That is what I speak of, being compared to, um, why don't you open the door for me when I get out or, or you know, when I'm coming into to the vehicle. In your mind, you're thinking, my ex did that. And I was watching, um, I think Ready to Love. This was actually an issue. Uh, the girl, she really wanted this guy to be financially stable and it was just like a non-negotiable and she just stayed on and it became a topic of conversation every time they went out on a date and he noticed it it became annoying because it's as if she already had that past issue it was problematic and that was the first thing that came to his mind i don't appreciate her comparing me to her ex she's not giving me a chance to let her know how successful my business as an entrepreneur is. He was quite offended by that, being compared to that person. He said, I understand she's been through maybe some problems with that issue, but not to be fair and allow me the opportunity to prove myself, you know, on our own terms, that's an issue. And it was a bit off-putting, and so he's now he's being a bit apprehensive about going forward. And see, that's what I that's what I speak of when I say comparing your current to your past. So you have to be very mindful of that. If you want to compare someone to your ex, why don't you take all of that energy and investment that you're now doing and try to get back with your person, your past person? Because what's really happening is, and what's really becoming revealing is that you're not over that person. 
you're not over those disappointments and that past trauma and toxicity or whatever it is that you experienced. You're not past that. You have not healed. You have not grown outside of that enough anyway to enter into something new, to start anew, start fresh and see every experience as what it is. Now, I know we all have our own way of living and you voice that. I like, I prefer to have this this way. I like doing this way. You know, I don't like for anyone to come into my house with shoes on. Then make that known. But when we make it a point on a very regular basis to make sure this person is much like your past person, well, you don't cook pasta the same way as my ex did. Look, why are we doing this? And if this person isn't willing to, to fall back, well, the person on the receiving end of this should have sense enough to say, hey, all right, already see where this is going to be headed and I'm going to just fall back. I'll, I'll let you say to yourself and work things out internally, you know, so you can go ahead and do some self evaluations and, and process this and try to get yourself together. Why put yourself through that? Why put yourself in a position of being like second? Because that's what it's going to always feel like. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. Like you may not measure up to that past person. And I don't even understand why you would have those feelings anyways because of their dynamic and their connection was so meaningful. Why aren't they together? You understand? Yeah. I know other things can happen that may cause people to fall apart, but why aren't they still together if that's the case? Well, well per perhaps they were the one who caused the, the relationship to break and fall apart in the first place. So yeah, you may not want to be with that person anyway. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to come to you all with a quick video about comparing our exes to our current. Hopefully, this has been somewhat insightful for you. If you have a more unique situation, all of my information will be linked down below for further coaching. But that is all for now, my loves. Until next time.